Hi students, welcome back to Physics with Miss B. And guess what? I have a little helper. Her name is Danica. She's so sweet. Today, we shall be executing a lab practical on refraction. What is refraction? Well, you guessed it. It is the bending of light once it passes from one medium to another. To perform this experiment, you will need a ray box or some sort of light contraption that can be manipulated to produce a ray of light. And you will also need a glass block, a plain white paper, a graph paper, a sharpened pencil, a ruler, and a trusty nifty protractor. Don't forget your calculator! As you can see, you would need to trace the block upon a plain sheet of paper and draw a perforated or broken line perpendicular to where the block will be placed. Then, measure a 20 degree angle towards the normal. This is your incident ring, and the angle is your angle of incidence. The magic happens when you direct the ray of light along the drawn ray of incidence and allow it to pass through the glass block. The ray bends or refracts once it passes through the block and that ray will be referred to as the refracted ray. The ray leaving the block will be referred to as the emergent ray. All of these rays can be labeled as theta 1 for angle of incidence, theta 2 for angle of refraction, theta 1 prime for angle of emergence. Note well that theta 1 prime, which is your angle of emergence, should be exactly or very close to the value of theta 1 because the angle of incidence and the angle of emergence are alternating interior angles. The steps to this experiment may be repeated at different angles this would increase the accuracy of your data. Please enjoy the rest of this video as we plot a graph to experimentally determine the refractive index of the glass block. Do note that the actual value for the refractive index of glass is 1.5, which will be deemed as the gradient or determined using the gradient. Later on, a template will be used to show you how to write up your lab report or how to write up a possible lab report. The video is long, but the watch is worth it. Do enjoy!
Once you would have done at least five angles of incidence and determined their corresponding angles of refraction, all data should be neatly tabulated. The signs of the angle of incidence and the angle of refraction should be calculated and displayed within the same table as can be seen here. A graph of sine theta 1 versus sine theta 2 may then be generated. The gradient of the graph is the experimentally determined refractive index. The refractive index is a, is a dimensionless quantity, which means that it does not have any units. Right guys, so we have a student here, my trusty sidekick, my surrogate daughter, and she's going to do the graph. It's not going to be all about me. She says she doesn't like graphing. Don't believe her. Guess what? She's going to produce the best graph ever. So keep looking. I'll be here eating gummy bears. So every two boxes is a point one.
I don't know. Look for your range over there. You find it? You see, I had a range. I'll stick zero point one to zero point nine. That was for sign theta one. I'll do your range. You choose in my range. Yeah. If it. Yeah. Because it's going to be point 0.5 and it's going to be point 0.9. Okay. So, point 0.2. So here, Grace, try. Heal. Yes. You're going to have to look over. Good. Don't forget to label the axis. Basically cuts. Mr. Cam Michael had some nice dimples. Yeah, he said that he get cut there and he healed as a dimple. Mm -hmm. Must be nice. Mm -hmm. Yeah, I think I'm done. I'm gonna find the best fit. I thought my thing would have been so perfect though. Find the brush fit. Just look at that. Where are you so? I don't know. This isn't for me. You want it? Don't be a ruler? No, I want it to do it. I want it. I'm going to use a ruler with a hotel. I'm not sure. I'm not sure. I think it's an equally spaced. Mm-hmm. Let me see something. Maybe we could ignore that one. Look how it's perfect. I'm just use these four. You wanna use the five? Yeah, let's go. It's gonna be ah. So from here? Mm hmm Alright. Don't look so bad. At this point, just uh in there. Okay, so now you're gonna find the gradient which can be reflecting the refractive index. 
gradient y1 minus y2 over x1 minus x2 mm -hmm. Right, so right, one over right. Mm -hmm. right. Um, this literally tells us how many to put this. If you imagine, it's equal to the y over the defensive x, <coughs> which is equal to y1. Y two over X one minus X two. Yes, ma'am. Is it three points? Pretty much, we're doing that. Now we're looking more and we'll come through the half of the other half now. I think two minutes in is how much. Which one is white and which one is two? The mm -hmm. first one is white. Mm -hmm. I mean, the first one is one and the second one is two. You can make it any number. Oh. It doesn't matter. Mm -hmm. Are you serious? Okay. That's the reflective index of glass. Exactly. Oh. <laughs> so you see, you don't have to be perfect to get the answer, the answer correct. And that's the reflective index. <laughs> so note well that we did more than one trial so that we could increase the accuracy. And as you know, so now what we're gonna do is, since we have laid the groundwork, we're gonna start um, doing it on the computer. That's probably what you want us to do, right? So, we're gonna be back with you in a while. Okay, so, Basically, this is a setup the drawing of how we would have the lab. This is a template. And so we put our names here. If you go to the book, we put, I just put this B and Danny. Right? And the date of today is the 9th of 
Right, match, match, very funny. SB, whatever. So, down here, we have all this. <coughs> the aim to prove that light bends once it passes from here to glass and to determine the refractive index of glass and to determine the speed of light of glass. So basically, when light goes from one medium to another, it refracts. Right? In this case, if light was going from here into glass and you saw that there was a refraction at multiple and different angles towards the normal. And by doing that, we were able to determine when you saw that light bend, you saw that, and then from there you could actually do the, the multiple angles that we did was to increase our accuracy in determining the refractive index of glass, okay? And we were able to do that by producing our uh, <coughs> of that, right? And then from there, we went to do another calculation prove that um, once light passes from a less dense medium to a more dense medium, it will slow down. That's three things. <coughs> That's why the lab is so long. Now the method, you should write it in past tense. So the apparatus will set up as shown. So I'm just going to save this, save it as um, something else so I don't have to undo everything. Let's save it as that. Yes, I have a whole word. <coughs> so let's save it as something else. The optics. What to save it as? Sam and Danny. Sam and Danny, Danny demo. Sam and Danny demo. And it's in physics one. Great. So now we don't have to worry about anything. Hello? Hello? Oh! <laughs> so, this looks like we went a little bit smaller. I mean, when we went off the page, it's going to get smaller. And then we're going to fix this. This is the pattern system has shown. Oh, it's already in past tense. So, you get a gift from me. What did you observe? Describe what you saw here. Make sure you get rid of this. Do not it and hand it to me or uh, hand it into your teachers and then they're like what is that so what did they observe yes. so you're gonna write straight 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 i'm like i observe that no just write light bends when it passes from air to glass I bet you learn how to type really fast now that you're using these templates. Now you have your calculations. The diagram, you have this already here, so leave it and get rid of the italics. Okay, leave it. And then <coughs> you can also include the pictures. The pictures that we did. So Danny Grand, I did this together. The little one. Oh, that one. Right, so you know this. And then, so easy to see, you have a template. Now you have a calculation. Is it? <coughs> Experiment to determine refractive index N. And you can leave this here. And then don't hit no. We just use what was on the graph. We just put back those numbers. So. Annika will help me. So we're gonna put we have to insert symbol theta <coughs> theta y that's not uh, yes delta <coughs> right and delta means changing or difference okay please get rid of that and then just give me the numbers now 
temperatures negative 0 0.27 over The is right, and you show you show that you don't have to be perfect throughout. We got <coughs> this is the actual index of glass, the factor index of glass. And now we're trying to find the speed of light in glass, and we have the equation right here to find that you divide the actual speed of light in a vacuum and you divide it by the experiment to determine the factor index. To get the answer, so Danica is going to work that out. Yeah, <laughs> why you look so nervous? This. So, divided by 1.5, and we then be left with units of meters per second. And you could also write it like this. Superscript one. Put it up. Ooh, perfecto. Right. And that's actually the answer. Copy and just control paste it up in there. Yay. So that's that for question three, the calculation. Now, my calculations might not mirror what your teacher is looking for, but I like to know that we have three aims and our calculations must mirror our aims. So the first aim was to determine that light bends when it travels through glass and we got that. The next one, um, we want to find the refractive index of glass and we use this lab to determine that. And from there, we need to see what happens to light when it goes through glass. Does it speed up? Does it slow down? And this shows that it does what? Awesome. Now the percent difference is to show you how far away you were from the actual value of the refractive index. You could do it for the speed of light and the refractive index. But really and truly I just want it for the refractive index. And so we have the actual value which is 1.5. Mm -hmm. <coughs> it will be 0. It will be 0 because we were half at all. We were actually on the money. Divided by the average 0.5 plus 1.5 <coughs> Oh my So I'll look at these again For me <laughs> All of this <coughs> This one just gave us 0% Because remember 0 divided by any so, this is an easy calculation. This will be 0 divided by 1.5 times 100 equal to 1. Right, so we were great. This lap was really great for us. And we turned out. That's why you shouldn't even worry. Right? Okay. Then it says here data and results are data and results, however you want to pronounce it. And it's this table showing what kind of appropriate title you put here. Table showing the results obtained. Table showing results obtained from the lab. Now guys, she's not doing this. Next time she will. Because we're trained to type fast and next time she will we'll just speed it up <laughs> okay so we could fill in now from our table what we have so we start with 20 next one was 30 and then on the next one 20 27 
wait. See, it wasn't that easy. You see, I am almost finished. The only thing that took long was actually doing the math. I'm experimenting with the term practice in this of glass, the term of silver graph was 1.5. And if you want to underline it, highlight, control U, and then. No discussion, discussion. Do you have time to do a discussion? We don't. <laughs> Why? What is you want? You sleepy? No, that's a discussion. Well, let me show you how it's not. So let's do this. So what is late? Late is a. You know you can use a trusty textbook. What is the light? <laughs> it's textbook helps, you know. Or you could just go online and look it up. But light is what? An electromagnetic wave that comes from the sun. <clears throat> That's good. And it travels at what? Do you then send to the Right, so you said light is an electromagnetic wave which can travel <coughs> at a speed of three times ten to the eight meters per second. No, guess what? This might not be the best thing. We're just trying to help you out here. Don't try to steal our discussion, by the way. You can't roll with us like that. We want you to come up with your own thing. Alright? See, light is an electromagnetic wave which can travel at its, which can travel at a speed of blah, blah, blah. <coughs> upon upon leaving upon entering denser <coughs> mediums its speed does what? slow down speed slows down slows down speed slows down as can be seen in the Experimentally determined to be two times ten okay. in glass, right? So that's that for that. Good. So we finished question two. Now we could start with another. What are the two laws of refraction? The incident ray, the reflected ray, and the normal at the point of incidence are on the same plane. Ah, the yeah, incident ray. That's, refle that's incident, reflection. Oh, reflection, reflection. Mm -hmm. The incident ray, the refracted ray, and the normal. At the points of incidence, are on the same plane. 
and the ratio sin sin i over sin l sin theta sin theta i mm -hmm. over sin theta l divided by is a constant for a given period. A given period of what? Medium. Where n is the angle of incidence and l is the angle of refraction. Right. We already have it. Snell's law. And the second law that is stated, the second law that is stated above is Snell's law. Hmm? Did the experiment follow the laws of refraction? Did they? Yes. Right, so D experiment followed the laws of refraction well why because when light entered the glass it did what it refracted, it refracted. <coughs> and what else we got the correct number for the refraction of the light the correct value for the refractive index of glass was obtained. <coughs> and also why? Because all of them, the angle the angle of incident, the, the refracted ray, the incident ray, the refracted ray and the normal were on the same plane, right? See, copy and paste. Also, also the angle of refraction. Also the Incidentally, the refractive rate and the normal at the point of incidence were on the same plane. Full stop. What was the calculated refractive index of class? <coughs> right. So, the calculated refractive index of class. which I think we mentioned that up there, right? Yeah, we already mentioned that. But yeah, answer so one question. Sorry. Mm. Oh, I think it reflected the actual value for the refractive index of glass because what multiple um, multiple yeah X? yeah multiple <coughs> it was multiple angles Multiple what? angles of incident, yeah. multiple trials yeah. were per form. Let 
limitation. Um, yes. A limitation. Maybe poorly calibrated instruments. Okay. And that will be amazing. And was that hard? Exactly. So, what precautions did we take? We made sure that the pencils used were what? Right. The points were sharp. It's a precaution. <coughs> and my coffee. Let me go and my coffee. One. The pencils used in this experiment were sharp. Very sharp. To what? To ensure accuracy. Ensure accuracy. Parallax was avoided while reading the rulers. And then, what are your reflections? Think about the reflection. Think about the reflection. Oh my god, it's so special. So this is the original reaction. When you look in a pool, what? Um, what happened? No, when you look like in half. Because the light bends so on. Okay. Yes, so. No, this is when you could speak in first person. No. No, I know why. When persons office saw anything in water appear to look bent or seem to be closer to the surface. It is because what? Light <coughs> bends when it enters a denser well when it enters from one medium to another okay what do you get in conclusion Conclusion all three parts of it in so you can actually go up and highlight. See, you see that's smart. You go up, you highlight, and put in conclusion. Okay. Was it hard? Mm. In conclusion, light bends, <laughs> light bends. Once it passes from ear to glass and the refractive is 1.5 and the speed well the speed of light can be in a glass can be determined. We don't need to put the numbers back down here. So the refractive index of glass can refractive index of glass and the speed of light can be determined by using the set up as explained in the method.
what it is. Yeah, I say it's just bad. <laughs> so you just take the in conclusion part out of being italicized, and you can also do some. You could even be better than already, because I'm pretty much rushing it. And before we go, just so you know, this is a lamp that would have been mapped out of ORR, which is observation, recording, and reporting and measurement and manipulation. If you're a teacher you need some help, here is a map sheet, a score sheet you can take, take it, take it, use it, and make your life easier. And don't forget to visit www.thescienceharbor.skb, because that's where we are, dot com. Woo! So, you can go there. No mind, be honest with what you do because this honesty follows you <laughs> anyway. And we're gonna be signing out because it's late and we are sleepy. Thanks, Danica. Say hi to Danica. Oh, bye bye. Danica, you understand what you did? Yeah, okay. Well, yeah, it wasn't bad. It wasn't bad. Let the world know that it was not bad.